Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and recently I had a, co a question in one of the comments of how I was putting the telemetry on the uh, screen that you see at the bottom left over here in, uh, in this video I put up not too long ago. And uh, when I uh, used to put up the Bebop uh, videos, the uh, flight data manager was available and we could put all the telemetry at the bottom of the screen using that. But when I got my new um, Mavic 2 Zoom, uh, to my knowledge, and that's just to my knowledge, there's apparently not a uh, uh, telemetry uh, overlay that we can get. Maybe somebody knows of one. But anyway, at this point, I just wanted to keep it simple. In order to put the stuff down at the bottom of the screen, uh, I use my screen recorder. And, so, uh, and I use my video editor and use masking. And uh, that's how I went about it. So what I want to do in this video is just very quickly show how I went about it. As long as you have a video editor, you probably have masking on it. And as long as you have a screen recorder for your uh, phone or your tablet, you can do this. So uh, with no further ado, let's get started. All right, I'm in uh, PowerDirector. Uh, there are many other video editors. This is one I've had for several years now, and it works pretty good for me. And the first, I've already got everything kind of uh, linked up together, two videos. The top video here is the one from the drone, and that's the one that takes up the, the 19 by 6 or the 9, whatever it is, the large size there. <laughs> and, and the one below in the track below, that's the one off my phone, and you can see that it's, uh, they're they're pretty well linked up now uh, that's the first step you got to do and then uh, so we'll see we'll make sure that they both take off at the same time get them all linked up and it should be taken off any second now all right and there we go okay so they're moving together so I've got them linked so now I go down here to uh, where the two of them uh, bring my uh, timeline down to where they're both uh, in view and then I'll hold the control key down and I'll well first of all I gotta cut it so now I've sliced it in half so now I take this one the bottom one and I hold the control key down and hit the top one and they're both selected and so I'm going to click on when I make a movie I get real nervous so now um, I'm gonna right click on it and then I'm gonna go up here and click on remove and I'm gonna say just leave the gap and so I've got them both, both uh, gone. Now they both have the same starting point. So I'll hold the, I'll click on one, hold the Control T down, and click on the other one, and I'll move them down to the end so we can have the movie start at the same time. I'll hit Stop and make make sure, and uh, we'll just make sure that it's, they're still together when I get all through doing that. Okay, now they're taken off together. So now I'm going to save. Once I get that all done, I save the project. All right. Now we're going to get into the masking part. Uh, so what I do is I select the lower one, which is the one I want to mask. As you can see, I want to get the area right around these guys right here. So I'll click on that video and I'll come over here to Designer and go to Mask Designer. Okay, so we're going to get there. And there's all different kind of shapes of masks that we could use. For instance, I could use the round column one, but I just use a regular square one. But then we also need to scroll way down to where it says maintain aspect ratio. I do not want to maintain aspect ratio. That's a big headache, so uh, we're not going to do that. All right. Now, I need to clip away everything I don't want. Now, a mask is where you hide something and uh, just like a mask you would wear on Halloween or something. Just your eyes show. Everything else is, is something else on your face. So we get the corner and we start coming down and uh, we bring it in. And then we need to come over here a little bit and get, whoop, come on, get a hold of it there. Get a hold of it there. Bring it down here. All right. Now we've got what we want, all right, but we can't move it. So we just have to click OK and save that. Go back to our uh, video. And now I can, do, I can do it here or I can do it anyplace else. So if I want, I can move this around now, okay? Uh, and uh, it, 
running kind of slow. I can move it there, but what I want to do, I'll click on undo so I don't mess anything up. I'm going to go into, I'm going to double click. Well, actually, I can, I can go into uh, PIP Designer this way, or I can just double click on that uh, timeline. Okay, now we're into PIP Designer. Now there's, uh, there's my mask, and I want to run it over here and put it right there and drop it down just a little tiny bit. And I usually hit uh, the uh, Windows key, or no, no, the function key, and bring it down using the arrow keys and get it exactly where I want it. Okay. Now, just to be fancy, I want to have a border around it. So I'll click on border and I'll make the border just one line thick. And I might want to even drop that down a little further. Function key, down arrow, and... Uh, Okay, that should that should get us where we want. If not, then we'll go ahead and fix it later. So we'll click on OK. And there's our mask. So now let's uh, stop the movie, go back to the beginning. Click play. And by the way, because it's coming through my uh, tablet, it is going to run just a little bit slow. So sometimes it's a second or two behind. But uh, there's the telemetry. I've got um, how many feet it, it is away, how high it is. I've got my horizontal speed and my vertical speed. And if you want any more than that, as you know, there's some other stuff on the bottom. You can make another mask uh, by putting the putting this the, the the tablet video on another timeline and mask something else off and put it in there. So anyway, that's what I've been doing lately, and that's how I get a mask made and or a uh, some telemetry. And so I hope that's helpful, and uh, uh, it, it's, it's just another way to do it. I want to thank you for watching, though, and God bless.